Good morning. Welcome to Sing in the Morning. Today is Thursday. Not sure of the date. March? 22nd. 22nd. March 22nd. I've never given the date before. I gave the date yesterday. Why? You should go back and watch it then. That's Jessica's a rude voice if you guys don't know in the background. I'm stalling. Just so you know. Stalling. 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 Be soft sufficient. Stalling. Just, that would be great. Stalling. <laughs> now we're here. I'm here. It's sing in the morning. Um, good morning, Dana and Jenny. And there's two other people watching, but I can't see them. So, hey, whoever you are, love you guys. I don't know why it's not showing me. But what's up? If you're here, comment below so I can see you. Because Paula. Paula, what's up? James, hello. There we go. Found them. Yo. It's Thursday. We got a snow day yesterday. March 22nd. Luckily. Thank you for letting me know what the date was. You're welcome. I have the calendar. I had to tell you what the date was. That's bet. the funny part about what just happened. It's recorded, so. Bet. They don't know that. Won the bet. They don't know that. Literally, it just happened. You don't know that. Oh Cannot God. confirm. <laughs> What's up, Dana, Jenny, Alexis? Good morning. Good morning. And Brianna. Oh, no. Oh, well, oh, yay. She's having a baby. We will pray. Put that on our list, please. Cool. We'll pray. Nice. Not me. Yeah. Yeah, Paula, I'm so excited that you're here while we're live. We have some prayer requests today, so if you have any more prayer requests, comment below really quick so that we can add them to our list as we get to praying. Thursday is like our day. Mm -hmm. I'm like ready, you know, it's, it's Friday Junior. We've like conquered the week. It's almost the weekend. We're almost there, guys. Almost. I can't wait. Yeah. All right. What well, are you doing this weekend? What am I doing this weekend? I have prayer service at 9 a.m. at the Manassas campus. Love it. Then Financial Peace University. It's a small group. It's awesome. If you haven't been through it, you should do it. And then I have workout at Title Boxing Club. Come work out with us. Your first hit is free. So come hang out with us and work out. You can do one track, one class for free. Then after that, I'm getting my nails done. And then I have a girl's dinner. That's just Saturday. And then Sunday I have church. And then we're going to Costco. Costco. Yeah, so great weekend, I'm excited. What are you doing this weekend? Sleep. <laughs> the same except you're going to see a movie on Friday. Right. With the boys. Right. That'll be fun. And then Saturday night. Dun, dun. So you do your nails. I get How's to do your them. hair doing? They want to know. <sighs> Guys, the struggle is real. I blow dried it yesterday. <laughs> For the first, have you ever blow dried your hair before? Yes. Oh. Not so, to do what I did. The yes. stylist Maha, who's amazing at what she does gave really good input and was like, if you're trying to do a new hairstyle and you're trying to grow out your hair, you've got to blow dry it in the way, in which the way that you want it to go. So I blow dried his hair yesterday to the to the side and things are happening. So these yeah, to all progress. the haters that were like my hair is not long enough to to start grooming. Clearly it yeah, is. It's not there yet, but um I think the the biggest reveal will be on Easter. I think it'll be officially done by Easter. Not officially done, but like just like, man, I got to dress a miracle girl in this hair. <laughs> miracle like girl? You're like your own chia pet. Uh, Heck. <laughs> the hair is coming along. Oh, my God. I got to cut the sides, though, because they're killing me. Right. I just don't look clean. I just don't feel clean. I just feel like... like He's showering twice a day, people. Yeah. Just because of the hair. That's not true. I, I mean, that's twice. normal, right? right. But... I'm just saying. But like, now he's adding blow drying to his routine. Can we talk about that for a second? How long are you going to be in this house? If you have blow dry, I want to get out the shower this morning. Oh my gosh. Well, I got to go to work, so you may be blow drying by yourself today. I don't know how to blow dry by myself. Because how I, do I blow dry with the comb? How does you, that work? It's, you comb as you blow dry. So I comb with my right and blow my left. I mean, do whatever, <laughs> do whatever feels right. 
you just make sure the blow dryer is going with. <laughs> I never thought I'd be teaching my husband how to blow dry his hair. Listen here. This is for you. Luckily. This hair is not called the whatever you're calling it. It's called I the I really Jessica. don't think, I don't know what it's called because I've called it something for a while and I got corrected, but I honestly don't know what it's called. I was calling it a pompadour. That's what it's called. No, it's not. It's, someone corrected me. Um, I can't remember who it was, but it was really funny because I was like, oh my gosh, I've been calling it that for weeks. Let me see what it's called. I know what you're talking about. Oh, Sarah. I'm talking about pom pomade, pomade or whatever. Pomade. Is that what it's called? No, that's the wax that I got to use for my hair. You remember oh. how we were struggle busting on the name of like, oh, it's called the wax, <laughs> the hair wax or the pom pomade. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Exactly. So I Google it every time. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, that's pompadour. Is it pompadour? Yes. Y'all. <sighs> what I'm saying is P-O-M-A-D-E is the wax. Pomp. A. There it is. Yeah, pompadour. Pompadour fade. All right. P-O-M-A-D-E. I love it. I can't wait for you to look like that. <sighs> ah, so, so you even get to do your little fade that you like. I got bleach my skin, y'all. That is not it. But look at this hair. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is going to look great on him. Bloop. Michael Jackson reincarnated. Josh, shh. See, it, it does kind of go back, though, so, yeah. Okay, moving on. Pompadour. Pompadour is what it's called. I'm going to pray over these knees really quick, and then you can do the div, the daily div. I'm going to pray that you just love me as much as that picture. <laughs> I love you. What are you talking about? I'm embarrassed. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pray really quick. All right, Father God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for everything that you've given us. God, I pray for um, protection as people drive out to their jobs or wherever they're going today, Lord, with all of the, the snow and the ice and, God, whatever's going on out there, we ask for protection in Jesus' name. God, I lift up Caitlin and her anxiety to you. I just pray that you bring peace and love to her life, God, so that she um, is feeling completely stress-free and it's just the joy of the Lord that is her strength in Jesus' name. God, I lift up Amelia. Give her wisdom mm -hmm. and direction in the nursing program that she should choose in Jesus' name. God, I lift up Matt. Just bring your favor over his life and bring total revelation to him in Jesus' name. God, I lift up Paula and her mom to you as her mom needs a second eye surgery. God, I know what you've done in the first surgery, so I, I'm believing for this second surgery that you're going to have your way. You're going to heal her in Jesus' name. God, I lift up Jennifer to you. I just pray a total blessing over her life, favor to come over her life, and God, give her the peace that surpasses every understanding let um let her be grateful for the things that she does have and to see that you're in the midst of everything that she has going on in her life god i pray over dana's daughter to you that she's having her baby right now just um, anoint the hands of the doctors and um the nurses that are helping her bring this miracle into the world god i just thank you for the blessing that it is to have children and um, everything that you're doing in this family's life. Let this be uh, the full the fullness of your joy in this moment in Jesus' name. And God, I lift up the couple to you that it wants to be anonymous. I just pray right now in Jesus' name that you show your way, you um, show yourself to them in Jesus' name and bring peace and comfort in this time. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Woo. Amen. All right daily Devo time. So if you're just joining us for the first time, what we do on Sing in the Morning is we pray over the needs of our community. So if you have any prayer requests, please comment below. If you have any praise reports, we want to know about those too. And that's what we do. And then we do a daily devotional. We're getting this devotional out of um, the version app. And it's they just put up a verse of the day. So we just go with the verse of the day. We... <laughs> <laughs> we pull it up every day and we compare the versions. We use the NLT and we use the message version. I just want to compare really quick. The NLT version is one sentence right now. One sentence. The message is probably the longest paragraph I've ever seen. And that's why I love it so much. It just, it reads like a book. It uses like street lingo, like 2018 language. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> 11 sentences. <laughs> a paragraph is normally three to four right. sentences. So it's this is three paragraphs. <laughs> uh, Heck. Oh, Dana, we're praying over the doctor right now in Jesus' name. 
But I love the message. It's exciting news, though, Dana. Yeah, you're going to be a grandma. Okay. What are we going to be like as grandparents? Oh, oh my God. We're not even parents yet, so we can't <gasps> even think, fathom that. <sighs> I wonder if they're going to like my locks. They're going to love your locks. <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh my. Well, okay. The Daily Devo is in Psalms. Sounds like peace hams. Palms. Psalms. Psalms 91 1. 91 1. I love 91. 1? 91.9? <laughs> no, but I do love Psalm 91. Psalm 91 9. 91 1. In the NLT, <laughs> it's going to be real short, guys. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. <laughs> can I read the message? Because I don't think I can sit through you reading 11 sentences, honestly. <laughs> We're going to lose viewers by you. <laughs> well, do you have anything to say about this one sentence? I'll read your message. Okay. All right. 11 sentences. Are you guys ready? Are you hunkered down? This is great. This is the living word of God. All right. It's important. You who sit down in the in the high God's presence, spend the night in Shaddai's shadow, say this, God, you are my refuge. I trust in you and I am safe. That's right. He rescues you from hidden traps, shields you from deadly hazards. His huge outstretched arms protect you. Under them, you're perfectly safe. His arms fend off all harm. Fear nothing, not wild wolves in the night, not flying arrows in the day, not disease that prowls through the darkness, not disaster that erupts in the at high noon, even though others succumb all around, drop like flies, right and left, no harm will even graze you. You'll stand touched, watch it all from a distance, watch the wicked turn into corpses. Yes, because God's your refuge, the high God, your very own home. Evil can't get close to you. Harm can't get through the door. He ordered his angels to guard you wherever you go. If you stumble, they'll catch you. Their job is to keep you from falling. You'll walk unharmed among lions and snakes and kick young lions and serpents from the path. Boom! I counted it. All right, but here's what I think is happening. Oh, I think it's God. not just one verse. I think the message... Yeah, the message is 1 through 13. That's what I just read. Mm -hmm. So... It's not one. It's not one verse. It's because it's they do summarize it. it. It's hard. But no. But this, like, if I go to let me see, if I go to the NLT, it's one verse. Right. I know. So luckily, they just give us a little context. Okay. Explain. Oh, so um, hold on. I gotta set this back up. So God is protecting us. And we don't have to fear anything. There's not a disease that prowls through the darkness. Not disaster that erupts at high noon. No harm will even graze you. You'll stand untouched. That's amazing. Because God is our refuge. And the high God, your very own home. I really got that revelation as I was reading this. That like the word refuge is like to hide away, to be hidden. And that's what God is to us. He is He is our hiding place. And we can take refuge in him so that no harm can get through the door. And I love that he ordered his angels to guard us. So we have like a we have a personal army protecting us from all the wicked ways and whatnot. So mm -hmm. you're protected, you're loved, and you're valued. And the Holy Spirit is inside of you. So and this is really cool. I was reading in Exodus and I got this revelation that like before, like thousands of years ago, to get any contact with God, this is before Jesus, they would have to make this tabernacle and it was super um, intricate with all the things that go in it and um, only a priest could go in and it was only like one day a month and they would have to cleanse themselves, do sacrifices, like there was so much they had to do to get in the presence of God and even then they it would crush people. Like just being in the presence of God because of how much glory. And um, it just, it, so you had to go to a place to get in the presence of God. But because of Jesus, because of he was the ultimate final sacrifice um, for our lives, the most holy place is now in us. Mm -hmm. We get to be the most holy place because the Holy Spirit resides in us. 
So we don't have to wait for a priest or do a bunch of rituals to get to God. He is in us and he's choosing to be in us, which is so cool. And, um, but it just proves that he's my refuge and I can take strength from that. Right. That's what I got out of that. Wouldn't have gotten that out of that LT. Yeah, one verse. Because those who live in the shelter <laughs> of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Just so the, the Most High and the Almighty is the same person. <laughs> Jesus. So if you find shelter, if you receive him, if you ask him to come into your life and to, to change your life and that you're going to reside with him, you're going to put him first and foremost in your life, you're going to find peace when you when he's in you. But just because you move away from church or like you're not in church on Monday through Saturday doesn't mean he's not there with you. Right. He's in your home. He's in your job. He's at your job. He's in your car. He's wherever you go. And that's what they're saying that if we live in the shelter of the Most High, we will find rest in the shadow. So it does. we don't have to be where we received him. Wow. He's here with us everywhere. Because we received him fully within us. Wow. And you know how a shadow is made? Like, our if we, if a shadow is up against the wall, like, we're in front and the shadow is all, is coming up on the wall. That means God is in front of us. He's guiding us. He's directing right. us. We're his shadow. Right. How cool is that? You have to be close enough to be a shadow. And I didn't even right. notice that until you said that. But um, that's how we find rest, though, in the shelter of the Most High. And and that's just being with God. That's, a, that's allowing him to renew your soul. And which is your mind, will, and emotions. You know so, what creates the shadow? What? Light. <gasps> Mic drop. Look at that. I love that. You don't have a shadow if you're in darkness. You only have a shadow if wow. there's light behind you. Right. And so or God is the light. Right. That's so good. Like, the word of God is so specific. And that verse was written by God Almighty. So, of course, he's going to, he's going to have mic drops just in one sentence. It's amazing. So we'll find rest in his shadow today. That's what I'm believing over every person that's listening to the sound of my voice. Do we have another prayer request? Yeah. Oh, I love Brittany. <laughs> this is Brittany Feeney. We go way back. We go to middle school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, girl. She was like my, I like looked up to her because she was cheerleading captain. And I was like, girl, you need to get on the Were you level. in her shadow? Yeah. <laughs> Because then I became captain when she graduated. Can you pray for my new work and my move? Oh, you're moving. Where are you moving? I'm still waiting for a background check to come through. And even though I'm not a criminal, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, we will pray for that, of course. I love Brittany Feeney. Okay. So, um, let's pray for that really quick. Do you want to close Richmond. out the prayer? Just... You're moving to Richmond. Yay, but no. That's so far from me. There's some really good churches out in Richmond, though. You're going to love it. <laughs> what? You're so silly. <laughs> All right, so you pray for that, and then do, a, like, a closeout prayer. And then we'll let you guys get back to your day. I hope you had fun with us this morning as we dig into the Word of God. Dig in. Father God, we just thank you for this day. We just thank you for this time that we get to spend in your Word and in prayer and devotion, Lord. We just pray right now that it just seeps within us like right now, Lord. And I pray that we just see the truth and we see that your word is living lord and that we can take just a nugget of it and it's going to speak to us throughout this whole day so i pray right now that you just open our minds to receive from you i pray right now that as we go to work as we go to school as we go to wherever we need to go today lord that you go before us and yes, you break god. down any and all strongholds that's in our way lord i lift up Brittany d right now as she is preparing for her move and her new job i pray that Everything that is supposed to happen will happen, Lord. I pray for peace over mm -hmm. her situation. I pray that you give her peace and comfort her even in this moment, Lord. That she can be at rest and she can stay at rest, Lord. Because you've already written her next chapter, her next story of what's to come, Lord. And we just thank you for what's going to come. I pray that as she continues to put you first and foremost in her life, that her eyes align on you, Lord. That you're going to direct her yes, path. God. That she's going to see your fruitfulness and she's going to see your faithfulness and your grace through and in and throughout lord and we just thank you for what you're gonna do in Brittany's life we just thank you for everyone that is watching right now i pray right now for a 
blessing in their life. I pray right now, whatever they're looking for, whatever desire of their heart, whatever they may be struggling with, Lord, we give it to you right now. We plead the blood of Jesus over every situation, Lord. We just thank you for what you're going to do today. We thank you for what you've already done, and we praise you in the midst. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I love that Paula just thanked God for people. That's You guys are like a community, and you're praying for each other, and it's awesome. And where two or more are gathered, that's where he is. So um, I'm just praying and believing that you walk out of your house today with God's favor and his light, and we can find rest in his shadow today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have the best day ever. We'll be back for Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Friday at 7 a.m. for Sing in the Morning. If you have any more prayer requests, please comment below and praise reports. We want to hear about them. Yes. Sing in the Morning tomorrow at 7. Have a great day, guys.